Here it is September 25, 2012. I got a request on YouTube to do another video on my uh, box turtle enclosure. I've, uh, you can see here that it's uh, screened with uh, one inch wire mesh. I have a couple plastic uh, covers on the top to provide shade in the summertime and to keep some of the areas of the uh, enclosure a little bit drier than others. Um, I gave the uh, turtles some uh, beef heart and some carp eggs this morning and I thought I'd just do a little video update. Uh, I'm afraid that yeah, you know, there's the Russian tortoise. He didn't want to eat. I'll just put this little lifter in here. He did not want to eat this morning, which is probably a very normal thing. Uh, some of the other turtles uh, have never hibernated before, and I'm a little concerned with their well-being when I allow them to hibernate out here in the winter. We have winters that uh, can get easily get down to zero degrees. There goes Speedy Gonzales. He's uh, heading out. He's an I don't know how many years old he is, but he is actually possibly the father to my baby turtles. In the uh, I have adopted all of these turtles uh, from the same individual. He was an elderly gentleman from uh, Fruitland, Idaho and uh, they became too much of a responsibility for him when illness struck him and uh, he wasn't able to uh, take care of them and he had a real nice enclosure in his backyard it was actually larger than my enclosure here and uh, he had uh, well he had some really incredible animals there some of the uh, California uh, desert tortoises and um, they actually succeeded in reproducing one year. Um, these um, Ornetta, I think, is that uh, turtle right behind the uh, Russian tortoise. Uh, she successfully lays eggs, I believe, and she is the mother of all of my uh, what used to be baby box turtles. And uh, last year I saw her lay eggs in my enclosure and I tried to incubate them unsuccessfully. And uh, so this year I haven't been able to locate uh, her eggs. If she's laid them, she did not lay them in the, uh, this area right in that's in the center of the film right now. Uh, she laid them elsewhere, which uh, from what I've seen online is very common practice uh, for box turtles to lay in obscure areas so that uh, their eggs may have a better chance of survival and uh, what I will do is uh, after I give these uh, turtles an opportunity to digest their meals completely I will um, allow them to hibernate in an area over here on this side of the enclosure. Um, I've uh, dug down last year and I've made some little hides naturally in the, um, I used five gallon buckets here and they go in and underneath um, where the turtles can get out of the sun. I made uh, six of them here and uh, the turtles don't use them too much. They really enjoy the tall grass. Uh, sometimes the grass gets over a foot tall. You can see the upper part of the uh, bucket. It's real natural and it goes way back there and the uh, Russian tortoise has gone and dug some more in that area. There's a little close-up of Ornetta. She uh, grabs a bite to eat and here you can see one of the turtles walking up the hill with a piece of beef heart in his mouth. That could very be, well be the one I call little guy. Uh, one of the box turtles I uh, found, I found a home for three of them, I thought a very good home. However, box turtles require more care than the individual I gave them to uh, 
could give them and uh, one of them died and uh, he gave the other two back to me when he realized that he wasn't giving them the necessary care that they need to uh, thrive or to stay alive even. I'm afraid a lot of people have box turtles or tortoises as pets and they don't give them the care that they need. Uh, box turtles, I think, to do well, need to be in an outside environment. Uh, some people probably have really good luck with, uh, oh, they're going to be a little turtle fight here for a piece of food. Something peculiar. There's still a lot of food left in their feeding area, but uh, <laughs> these are two sibling turtles. They're both females. They've grown up together. And uh, like I said earlier, Ornetta is probably their mother. Um, the uh, anyway, they have always fought over food. They uh, seems like the best food is always the food that's in the other turtle's mouth. Uh, when they were youngsters, it was a, a lot more so that way. Still, you can see uh, two of the younger. Uh, adopted turtles that I have uh, are still just chowing down. Now if they were to hibernate starting right now I have read that uh, it might be very hazardous to their health. Um, I'm going to show you where I have the uh, enclosure. This There's a five gallon bucket lid here with some dirt on top of it and underneath that is where I will <coughs> I will allow the turtles to hibernate. I've taken a, oh there's one little guy looking out at me, I don't know if you can see him, but uh, hello, <laughs> he's coming out, I think I better give him a bite to eat. Anyway, that uh, part of the enclosure there, the uh, Russian tortoise has dug back, oh I'd say 12 or 14 inches uh, beyond um, where the uh, hole was originally. Uh, there's another uh, box turtle. That one there is a male. The uh, soil in the bottom here is oh easily diggable by uh, turtles. I'll just pick this guy up. Oh no that isn't one of my babies. This is the other female uh, box turtle that I have and uh, she just heard me messing around. I'll just put her down here by the food and see what she wants to do. She probably, if she's like the others, uh, Ornetta of course is a uh, pretty friendly box turtle, or one of the most friendly box turtles that I have. She evidently um, relates better to humans than uh, say my Russian uh, tortoise. Uh, he or she uh, just is antisocial towards humans and uh, anyway uh, this is where they will hibernate this winter and I'm going to uh, oh, look at that one of them is digging his way out of the dirt there he's already thinking about hibernating is about 52 degrees this morning I'll see if he wants to come out oh my goodness this is the one that uh, is one of my babies but look at the coloration on her shell this one here is uh, one of the original 13 that I uh, adopted from uh, the older gentleman over in uh, New Plymouth. And uh, she was uh, always a little bit larger than the other turtles. And uh, we'll see if she wants to eat. Oh, here, here comes one of the little guys over. Oh, yeah. They're not going to miss out on a little beef heart carp caviar. So uh, I just wanted to show you how I have my uh, turtle set up and uh, I don't know if that is uh, visible or not. It actually the soil in the bottom of this hole here goes down another 12 inches. Oh there's a uh, that looks like Speedy Gonzales there. He wants to go hide. I think I'll give him some dark, dark area to hide in. And uh, so I just wanted you to see the uh, box turtles out there here in their 
normal environment I've just got the camera four or five inches away from this little guy I'm wiggling my finger a little bit I think he's just thinking I want to walk past you there's another guy coming up very quickly this very well be well, I like all the turtles the uh, well <laughs> what's he I think he wants to bite my finger yeah he does he's smelling it now nah, there's no food there oh <laughs> this is the tunnel that they uh, can go into to uh, for their hibernation area in case it gets when it gets freezing at night uh, they need to have a place to uh, go and they get around really quite well in their habitat here Oh, they're sort of making a mass exodus from the uh, feeding area. I'm sort of surprised at this uh, f female here just coming out and walking right by me. But uh, I'm. <laughs> I thought she might be a little bit more frightened, but she knows that after I move her one time over to where the food is located, that I'm probably not going to pick her up and move her again. But. Uh, yeah, winter is approaching and I uh, really want all these turtles to survive. Um, I think if they did lay eggs successfully, they might be coming out and hatching as did my turtles uh, after they, they actually winter over in the um, habitat where they are laid. and. Um, I don't know how they can survive the way they do, but uh, it's just how they are as uh, uh, surviving. And uh, with a, a half decent place outside, uh, protected from uh, raccoons, coyotes, uh, foxes. Um, I think most of my turtles are now um, have a hard enough shell that most predators could not. Uh, uh, injure them too severely by just biting their shells. I think their shells are quite hard. I hope that I haven't... <laughs> look at her. She's going to go into one of those little hides that uh, just a little half five gallon bucket placed into the soil. And this is pretty typical of uh, turtle behavior, uh, I think. You know, uh, my turtles aren't uh, uh, my pets I take care of them and uh, I provide them a home in an area that really there are no box turtles that live in eastern Oregon without a little bit of extra protection and extra help it's uh, not any colder here than it is in say Illinois but uh, there are no natural populations of box turtles here when uh, I get too old to take care of them. I uh, suppose I'm going to... Uh... Well, I don't know what I'm going to do. I really uh, think it's going to be difficult to find uh, someone to adopt them from me, but um, most likely they'll live... Uh, the babies here will live another at least 40 or 50 years. I've read where some box turtles are said to live more than a hundred years and if you provide them with uh, suitable habitat, clean drinking water, I think they're in incredibly healthy uh, animals. I've never had one get sick on me but uh, if you don't have the ability to provide them long-term care I suppose um, you're not even supposed to release them back into the environment after they've been in captivity, which I think is really a shame, but that's uh, my myoptic, nearsighted point of view. I uh, love box turtles, and I, I know that uh, they don't make affectionate, loving pets for me, but uh, I, I find them very, very interesting animals. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, a little bit different than the original 10 turtles that were out here. Eventually, the sunshine, which is coming over the top of my house now, it's about uh, quarter till 11 right now, 
and uh, this enclosure is pretty close to my home and the shade from my roof is uh, gradually leaving the area and yesterday I noticed that they were out uh, sunbathing most of the day um, they ate quite a bit of the uh, beef heart big <laughs> big guy is uh, chowing down and like I said all uh, three of the all six of the smaller turtles that I had are uh, females uh, that I raised and uh, I believe out of the 13 that I originally uh, adopted uh, all 13 were females I think it had something to do with their uh, incubation temperatures that they uh, lived through over the winter before they hatched I've read about that kind of thing that sex is determined by the uh, temperature that the eggs are incubated at but uh, this pretty much concludes this tape. It's a little bit on the long side. I apologize to boring people on YouTube.